the football has more unified this country than anything else in these past 20 years. <laughs> We're Tim Pot Football Channel Sausages and Caviar and the cats at The Guardian have asked us to follow the career path of the Bosnian diamond, Edin Dzeko. Normal thing, normal thing. <laughs> Syria was interesting for many reasons because we call it Europe in Jerusalem. We have uh, mosques and churches, Catholic churches, Orthodox churches, Jewish synagogues, and you have people who fill them up. So I mean, the city is mixed. During the war, the city was completely destroyed. I mean, two million bombs which hit and exploded on Sarajevo have really destroyed the city. Many people did die. Eleven and a half thousand people died in Sarajevo, so it's a big number. There's reminders of the war absolutely everywhere. Bullet holes and everything. Football, it's the biggest thing here, especially in the recent years since the Bosnian national team has qualified for the World Cup in Brazil. There is so much expectation. And I know people are preparing to buy new HD TVs, you know, this, this is a really big thing going on. In the past 20 years, all the negative, positive emotions have been sublimed in that moment when we were qualified and later whatever happens doesn't matter. Basically being all cocky and trying to go some shortcut. <laughs> and now we're lost. Fuck off. We're just lost. Tonight we're going to the Sarajevo Derby, a cup replay game between FK Sarajevo and Zeznica, the club where Dzeko started his career. Zeznica Football Club is a work class club. It comes from the working people. So the, the people who started are railroad men. Just after the war, Dzeko's father took him to Zeznica to train with the youth team. At the time, the stadium was torn to pieces by the war and the pitch had to be combed for unexploded mines. Dzeko struggled during his 40 games for the first team and acquired the unflattering nickname of Klotz. Klotz means somebody um, physically and mentally incapable of doing what he's been given the job of. So. <laughs> Klotz is a formulation that was not supposed to be used. I don't know if he believed it, but in any case, it was not a good opportunity. During the war, the JS Nishi youth team had nowhere to practice because they were under fire from the constant shelling from the, from the hills surrounding them. Bombs are hitting, snipers are shooting, so you couldn't stay too much uh, kind of uh, outside because there was a chance you can die. But they used to practice under a bridge or on a concrete pitch protected by a cluster of buildings. And according to the coach, Dzeko never missed a session. On is stable porodice, dobro vaspita dječak. Imao je dobro kretnje i levo i desno. Dobro je razmišljao. Ja sam znao da će on moći samo da igra to. Prije rata i ja kao dijete volio sam da nosim dresove Bekama, Ronaldinja ili nekih drugih igrača. Međutim, sada djeca u Bosni i Hercegovini svi nosi dresove sa imenom Džeko. We're just about to leave Sarajevo. Um, it's quite easily the nicest, most beautiful place we've been so far on these trips. Um, the game was really interesting. It's a little bit aggro at the end, but we've had a lovely time. Checo's next stop was Teplica in the Czech Republic. We didn't have enough money to get there, so we're in Wolfsburg. Myself, 
Dzeko signed for Wolfsburg in 2007. He formed Das Magic Triangle with Missy Movic and Graffiti, propelling them to their first ever Bundesliga title. We're a little worried that we're in the under 15s end. Maybe that's why the tickets are so cheap, Jason. <laughs> We're back in Blighty for our next stop, Manchester City. City? <laughs> I think there's a very big divide between City and United. I, I think United fans are usually full of confidence, maybe not so this season. And City fans are terrified that everything's going to go wrong because in, you know, history has kind of taught us. If, if you think that City are done, then there's always another surprise in store for you. At City, I think Dzeko has been good and bad at the same time. There's been a couple of games where he's been absolutely anonymous. His touch has been dreadful. It's bounced off him. He's, he's looked like he's not been able to win a ball in the air. And he's come away with a goal or two goals, and it's been crucial to City winning the game. I was sat in the in the stands against QPR. I was actually cursing Edin Dzeko when he scored that, that uh, equaliser because I thought the selfish has only done that to give us all a bit of false hope. If there's a way to win the league, I don't think that'll ever be bettered. I think you know we, City could win the league by by 20, 30, 40 points. You know, it will never better that day at, uh, against QPR simply because you're going from so low to so high so, in so short a time. The, the elation was was huge. Uh, I think if any fan base deserved a bit of time in the sun, it's probably cities.